Hi, welcome to learnhowtogarden.com. Today's film is to explain what we mean by chitting potatoes and why we do it. If you're not subscribed to me at learnhowtogarden.com, there's a link above me right now. Click that link, pop in an email address. It gives you access to written posts at Learn How to Garden. It lets you know every single time we put up a film. You'll also be able to see what the gardening club at Learn How to Garden is all about and the courses we run to deliver directly to you online. You will read in a lot of magazines, a lot of online articles and in books that you need to chit your potatoes. And what do we mean by chitting and why would we do it? Well, when you buy your potatoes or order your potatoes um, online, they'll arrive in a paper bag and look something like this, just like a potato that you would buy to use. And if you were to leave them in this bag, one thing will happen is they'll start to sprout. I mean, you've probably noticed they'll sprout in your fridge. And what's important is that if they're going to sprout, you need those sprouts to be as healthy as possible. And all chitting means is we are encouraging or we are allowing the potato to sprout in the best way possible to allow us to plant it. Because main crop potatoes, certainly in the UK, you don't want to be planting out till about April because the tops of potatoes, potato foliage, isn't frost hardy. Therefore, if we have a late frost and the tops of the uh, potatoes, the foliage gets damaged by frost, it'll go black, it'll die. The potato will recover, but it will put it back, um, you know, at least a couple of weeks and could ultimately affect the amount of potatoes you get. And while we're talking about the amount of potatoes we get, I mean, if you're going to grow potatoes in your garden, choose a variety for flavour, choose something unusual. Um, don't go with just one of the ones you could get from, you know, your local farmer, because they'll be growing it much more effectively than you. Or choose a variety like this one. This is Sarpo Mira. Um, and I also grow Sarpo Axona. They're both totally blight resistant, so it means you can grow them without using any chemicals whatsoever and you won't get blight. But when they arrive, the first thing you have to ascertain is the right way up. And if you look at them, one end of the potatoes will have what are known as eyes and the other end will have what's called the rose end. We'll have a tiny little, almost like a scar. And that scar is where the potato was attached to the roots. So it's the scar end that goes down. And what you want to do is get yourself um, an egg box. And all the chitting involves is putting the potatoes into the egg box so that the scar end is down. And then you put it somewhere cool and light. And within about two to three weeks, what you have are these short, dark green shoots. If you didn't do this and you left them in the bag, what would happen is you'd get very long white shoots. So by the time it came to plant them out in a couple of months time, you'd have shoots about that long, which are really brittle and they'll break off. And if they break off again, it reduces the um, amount of crop that you'll get. So chitting for this variety, this is Abbott, this is a first early. I'm chitting this because by chitting it inside, it allows me to plant this earlier, and that means I'll get an earlier crop. And with first earlies, which crop in the shortest period of time, that's really important. With something like the Sarpo, that's a main crop, the only reason I would chip that is to stop it growing those shoots of its own accord, which would be weaker. You don't actually get any benefit from chitting main crop potatoes. Commercial farmers, commercial growers never ever chit potatoes because as you could imagine, trying to plant potatoes with all these little shoots on using um, you know, huge pieces of farm machinery, they would just knock them all off. So to plant commercially, you need really smooth potatoes like this. But to keep potatoes like this so that they don't sprout, you need ideal conditions and you need um, conditions where the light and the temperature is controlled, which we tend not to have. So chitting for first early potatoes or second early, so to push, is to get a quicker harvest and you could plant those into a bag, obviously, in a cool greenhouse and then you get your earliest harvest. Chitting for main crops is purely to stop them producing 
shoots that are too long, too weak, will break off and ultimately that will affect the amount of crop you get.